Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are just gonna be creating a purple look. I have a purple flannel on, so we're just gonna be doing a purple look today. I hope everybody is doing well. So if this is your type of content, feel free, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finishing Setting Mist. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. I am still using my Milani eyeshadow primer. I really do love this. It's a neutral, you know, color, so it doesn't leave a cast on your eyelids. So I really do like this. I'm actually almost running out. I need to get me another one. And then I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just blending this in. I hope everybody is doing well. I know it's been a couple weeks, guys. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Again, I do work two jobs, so I've been working six days a week. So yeah, I do apologize, but more content is coming. So thank you for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna be working with a couple eyeshadow palettes today. I figured why not, because I'm doing the purple look. So nothing better than using Violet Voss. I do have the Violet Voss 2 palette. So this is what I'll be using for my neutral colors here. And then I do have the Violet Voss Sweet Violet um, palette as well. And these are the colors that we will be using today. So I figured why not, it'd be a fun look with the purple and just see what we can create. All right, so I am gonna go in with a couple neutral shades here. I am probably gonna use this light tan shade here for my transition color. This color actually blends in with my skin tone just perfectly. I mean, it's a little bit lighter, but not too much lighter. And I think I'm just going to take like this darker purple here and I'm just gonna put it above my eyebrow here, or not above my eyebrow, above my eyelid here, just like at the top and see what I can create. I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm just gonna go purple and see what we can create. And this is very pigmented as you can see. So hopefully this works. Very, very pigmented. I think I'm gonna have to use a smaller brush. Let me see. I do know that I am not enjoying this cooler weather. I am not ready for winter. I don't know about you guys, but I am a summer baby. I love spring and summer. Summer is my favorite. I don't mind fall, but I just don't like the temperatures changing and getting cold. I do not like the cold. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this eyeshadow out. And then I'm going to take the same brush still and I'm going to dip into this lighter purple here. And I'm gonna apply this on my eyelid. And I'm really gonna build it up. And I'm thinking about doing like a wing liner and some lashes and just see what I can create here. I think purple is so pretty and it really makes your eyes pop, especially I have dark brown eyes, but I know like people with light brown eyes and hazel eyes, it's so pretty. I really like this color. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the next eye. Honestly, I think the longest part of like doing your makeup is doing the eyeshadow. I think that's the longest part of makeup as a whole is the eyeshadow. Cause you're trying to concentrate on what type of, you know, colors and things you're trying to create. And I think it's the longest application part. 
I really like this eyeshadow palette. It's like the more I apply, the bolder it's getting. I love that. All right, and I'm gonna build that color up just a hair. I'm gonna go back into it. I'm gonna take a different brush, one of my Shop a, Shopness A brushes, and I'm going to build that color up and from the first color. I'm going to take this blue color right here. I'm gonna take this blue color right here and I'm gonna apply this to the edge of my eye. It is so pigmented, you see that? So pigmented, but so pretty. Okay, these shadows, you just tap these in. Being that this one's so pigmented, that blue color. I really love these colors, they're so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing to the next eye. I'm just tapping off the excess, just again, dipping into this color, tapping off the excess, and patting this on my eyelid, just the corner. Well, corner to the middle, kinda. Believe it or not, I have really missed filming. I really, really have. I'm surprised I'm not stuttering and all over the place in this video because it's been a couple weeks since I, it's actually been over a couple weeks since I filmed the video. Pretty. And this brush, I think this is a Farrah. Yeah, this is a Farrah brush. I believe I have got these in a boxy charm. They're so nice. They fit like right in the socket of your eye here, perfectly. See that? All right, so there's that. And then I'm trying to decide, I think I'm gonna do my wing liner and then I'm gonna go in and top this off with a shimmer. So for my wing liner, I am going to go in with my big fat liner. I know you guys are familiar with this. I've used this before. I love this wing liner here. But I'm gonna use this. I should have to shake it up a little bit because it's been a minute. So I'm gonna use this and try and draw a wing. Actually, let me get my hand mirror because it's been a minute. Let me see. All right, so I'm just gonna draw a wing here. All right, so there's one eye. There's one eye done. It's not perfect, but it's cute. All right, so wing liner is on. It's not much of a wing, but I think it's cute. I mean, I did the best that I could do, so I like it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a shimmer on. I'm trying to decide what shimmer I'm going to use. I was thinking maybe one of these, or I may just mix them, like the lighter shimmers. All right, so I'm thinking about just taking my finger and mixing these shimmers, all three of these shimmers together here and just applying it right here on my eye. Very, very pretty, I love it. You see the sparkles? I'm just gonna do the next eye here. Again, I'm just using a tapping motion Super pretty, I love that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. I'm gonna use a primer here. And I'm still using my Catrice Pore Blum Primer. I was looking to use a different one, but yeah, this is what I have here. So I'm just gonna use my Catrice here. Just gonna apply this on my face here. Foundation, I'm going back in with the e.l.f. 
Soft Glam Satin Foundation. I really do love this foundation, so I'm gonna use this again today. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. And then I will be using the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush as well to blend in the foundation. So I'm just gonna put this on here. I really do love this foundation. This foundation is so good. And I am in the shade 41, which is tan neutral bronze. This just leaves a beautiful finish on the skin. And it's all about skin prep on how it finishes and how you set it down. Because I know sometimes people get like nervous of how it sets down on the skin, but you gotta set it down properly in order for it to look the, you know, in order for it to look the best as possible. So yeah, when you put it on, it's gonna be all glowy and everything. I think I could actually probably go down a shade as well. Maybe, or it could be the lighting, but regardless, it's a beautiful foundation. All right, so now that that's blended in, I'm gonna go in with my AOA Studio Canal Cream Bronzer. I think this is the one that was like really, really pigmented. I don't remember. We're gonna try it out and see. No, I'm just gonna take this little brush here. I'm gonna dip into this. I remember this was very pigmented, so we're gonna see what happens. Let's see, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. Now I just know that less is more when it comes to cream bronzer. Put a little bit more. All right, so now we're going to do cream blush. You can see that bronzer is sitting in there. It'll all work out in the end. All right, so for cream blush, I am going to use the TYS Beauty, and this one is in Splash. All right, and I think this one is really pigmented as well, if I do recall. I think I only need like one drop. So there's that one and that one. And we're gonna see what happens. But I figured this is like the perfect color to go with my shirt. Very pretty color, very, very pretty. I like it. And it's all gonna um, balance out in the end because we still gotta set our face and everything. So it's not gonna be so bright, but yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, one dot is all you need. You do not need a lot of this. All right, and then for concealer today, I'm just going to use my L'Oreal Caramel Concealer. I've been going between I've been going back and forth in between Dose of Colors, L'Oreal, and I did buy one from Black Radiant. So I've been trying some of those out. But yeah, we're gonna use this today. And what I've been doing is I've been setting my concealer down on my face for like five minutes because my dark circles are just dark anymore. So I've been setting it down for five minutes and then I take my finger and blend it out. So that's what I've been doing. Do what works for you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer and then we're gonna finish the rest of the face. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my concealer with my foundation brush. I just like using the leftover product on my brush to blend it out. Just a little bit here. All right, so today we're gonna try something different. Today we're gonna be using the Ofra Cosmetics Airbrush Setting Powder in Brightening Strawberry. So I can't wait to see how this does on my face. So we're about to see how this does. We'll see if it brings the look together. So this is the color right here. So we're gonna see what this does. Kind of nervous. But if it doesn't work, then I have my regular setting powder over here that I will use to blend it out. So we're gonna see what happens. So I'm just taking my Real Techniques blending brush here. I'm dipping into this powder. Tapping off the excess. It is very fine milled as well. I'm just gonna blend my under eye one more time. I don't know how I like, I don't know. I don't know if I like it yet or not, we'll see. So I'm just gonna blend this out as well here. I feel like my under eyes are like really bright and it does say it's a brightening powder. I feel like one eye looks better than the other. All right, we'll see. Let me go ahead and set the remainder of my face with this setting powder. I don't know if I like it or not. I look like, seems like it's kind of light. I mean, it's pretty, but it's light. But let me just go ahead and finish the rest of the face. Let me go ahead and set the rest of my face with the powder and see if it's gonna bring that look together or not. Let me see. So for this powder, I'm just gonna take my um, powder brush from e.l.f. I'm just gonna stir that in here. I'm gonna tap off the excess and see what happens. Look at that. You see that? A little bit more on here, I want to see. Okay, not too bad. I can definitely see the pink, the pink powder on my face. Not too bad. It's okay. We can work with it. I know I'm doing my makeup all over the place. Let me go ahead and apply my lashes and see if it brings this look together a little bit more. And for mascara, I'm just using the Essence Lash Without Limits. This is the Extreme Lengthening Mascara, and this one is in Ultra Black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on my lashes. And I really do like this. This one reminds me of the Essence Lash Princess uh, mascara, the wand and everything. So yeah, this is lengthening. Reminds me of the other one. So I really do like that. And then for lashes today, I fell in love with these lashes. This is called the Pearl Ear. Came to talk. These are called the Pearl Earring Kiss Lashes. I really like them. They're like natural lashes. So I really like them. So I'm gonna apply these today. All right, so lashes are on. So now we're just gonna go ahead and do our bronzer, blush, and highlight. For bronzer today, I'm using the Double Dipper Half Caked Bronzer. And I'm just gonna go in with this tan shade here, the bronzer. And 
And then for blush, I'm just going to use the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. And this one is in Rosy Rosewood. I love this blush. It's just so pretty. So this is the color here. And a little goes a long way with the blush. Highlighter, we're keeping it with Essence as well. This is the Pure Nude Highlighter. This one is Be My Highlight. I really love this because it's just subtle on the skin. It's not overpowering or anything. I mean, you can build it up if you want to, but it's not gonna be as bright as the regular highlighters that you've seen me use, so. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brow bone. I'm gonna use the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. This one is in Silky Nude. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I was like, I'll just do a nude eyeliner at the bottom lash line. All right, so there's that. When you put the nude eyeliners on, like on your lower, you know, on your lower lash line, it just makes the, you know, look pop a little bit more. So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and line the lower lash line with one of these eyeshadows here. All right, so I'm gonna take this dark purple here and just line my lower lash line. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara to my lower lashes. All right, so there's that. And then as far as lipstick goes, let me see here. I don't know about my eyes, guys. It just looks really bright. Like I said, it could be the lights, but it just looks really bright. My under eyes look really bright, but I guess that's okay. Um, Let me see here. So I'm gonna take my Essence 8 Hour Matte Comfort Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Cinnamon Spice. And I'm trying to decide which lipstick I'm gonna go in with today. I don't know if I wanna use the Anastasia one, which is in Plum Punch, which I mean, that looks really close to my shirt. Or if I wanna use Milani Teddy Bear. So that's more, I think I'm gonna go with it, but the, I, know, I can't even talk. I think I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia one. So we're gonna use that. All right, so I just went in with the LA Colors um, Auto Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Mauve, so that's what I used over my lips. I blotted my lips as well, and this looks really nice. I really, really like it. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my CoverGirl Soft Brown Pencil and do my eyebrows here. I like this pencil as well. This and the Wonder Beauty Pencil. I really like those two. I need to do my eyebrows again. I don't know if I told you the shade, but this one is in soft brown. It blends perfectly in with my brows. Okay guys, this completes the look. I love how it turns out. I like the eyeshadow, I like the lashes. I really did like this Ofra powder. I was kind of nervous because it was pink, but yeah, the overall finish is beautiful. I love the lipstick. Everything just goes well together in this video. The face is complete. So yeah, that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Stay blessed, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.